The elephant in the room. You might have been part of a discussion when someone brought up one of the main problems with. Let's discuss the elephant in the room. You can do this and that, but you need to first deal with the elephant in the room. Is advice your friend might give. Maybe you're watching your prime minister on TV. Don't be distracted by the little issues, which are easy to fix. The elephant in the room is. Essentially, if someone calls an issue, the elephant in the room, they mean that it is the big issue. It is the main issue. As you know, the elephant is the biggest land animal today, and so it is being used in this idiom as an analogy for the biggest problem surrounding a particular issue. Why would anyone ignore the biggest, most pressing concerns? Leading to the creation of such a visually striking analogy. Oftentimes, the elephant in the room makes people feel uncomfortable, is controversial, or is dangerous. This explains why something as big as an elephant is overlooked. Less seriously, the elephant in the room is simply an issue so big that you have avoided dealing with it, or perhaps honestly didn't see it because it was so large. Imagine being right beside an elephant; you wouldn't be able to see it in full because it's so large. It is all too common for human beings to avoid big issues, so it is no surprise that the elephant in the room has equivalents in many different languages. In Estonian, they say, "One doesn't mention rope in the house of a hanged man." In Japanese, they directly say, "an uncomfortable topic that no one is discussing." In Chinese, there's a saying, "to pick out the seeds, yet neglect the watermelon." In Spanish, they might say, "the dark spot in the rice." It seems that the idiom "the elephant in the room" originated in an 1814 short story, "The Inquisitive Man," by Russian writer Ivan Krylov. In the story, a man visits a natural history museum and sees all sorts of wonderful creatures, but fails to notice the big elephant. On display. If you and your partner are constantly unhappy with each other, you might say, "We argue too much. The elephant in the room is that we are not a good match." Don't ignore the elephant in the room. You never save your money. You might say to a friend who can't seem to get ahead in life. Whether the situation you find yourself in is one in which people are overlooking an issue because it is so big, or they are ignoring an issue because it makes them uncomfortable, bring it up by mentioning. The elephant in the room.